what is up guys part of to go to gamers and sorry for the really late upload i've been out all day i went to work this morning got home around three and left right away went to pz's house and we uh went shopping and like went basically retro game shopping we went to a bunch of shops and got some super nintendo games for the Superboy that we have I already had a couple super nintendo games but i have a and i bought a couple more um, cause I couldn't find all my Super Nintendo games, so I bought a couple more today. And we've been messing around with the Superboy, and it was pretty awesome. So, basically, if you guys remember, um, this world right here doesn't have everything I need so, for the mod. So I had to start a new world, and this is basically the new world. Um, I haven't had a chance to play it off camera yet, so I only have what I showed you guys in the beginning. So, basically, this is going to be an episode of me... Talking about my experience at the the Hyperkin um, st studio or facility, if you want to call it, um, while I basically get the essentials to build a first house and um, try to find like acorns and iron, so I can actually build a healing table and get all the essentials that I need to um, basically start this mod upright because the old world where I had everything is completely useless because it, it didn't have all the mods loaded when I when I started making the world so it doesn't have all like the, ap the apricorns and all the the things I need well check that out reminds me of Up like you know the movie Up so basically um if you guys don't know what Hyperkin is Hyperkin is a game is a company that makes like like accessories for they have everything from accessories for like Game Boy Advance like if you lose like the battery cover they have that to replace uh, they, they make everything from battery covers to actual consoles they make like, like for example they have a Retron 2 Retron 3 which basically plays like um, Super Nintendo um, NES and like Sega or Super Nintendo uh, NES Famicom Sega and like and they're actually coming up with a new console, Retron 5. If you can, you can check it out on their website that plays um, up to nine different things. We we actually got to see the Alpha Alpha console. We can't really talk about it. It's, really, it's like hush hush because they're still um, still in Alpha, so can't really uh, say anything about it. Uh, all I could say is it is awesome, and I can't wait for it to come out because I love retro games. I love uh, Super Nintendo and NES. I still have all my all my games and all my consoles but to have a console that has all of them together where it's only one cord and you can just plug it into your TV and play any of them at any time that you want especially getting your cartridges out if, if I don't know some of you guys are pretty young but I bet you your parents have like Super Nintendo's and NES like for example like people are young nowadays but when I was in a store today this guy this little kid walked in he seemed like he was about 14 maybe 15 years old and he was walking in, he walked straight over to the NES collection, and he was asking about Mega Man, and like, the NES and Super Nintendo section, he was asking about Mega Man, and if they had it, and then they, he found out that the Mega Man that they had was like 90 something dollars, and it was, it was like super rare, <laughs> and um, his mom's like, no, 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 we're not gonna get that, you're crazy, um, so yeah, we uh, checked out some local gaming company, like gaming um, areas today to uh, find some some new games. I ended up picking up a couple games. Um, Pac-Man 2. I don't know if any of you guys played Pac-Man 2. I played it when I was little, so I picked it up. Um, also, I played. Uh, I also picked up Page Master. I liked the movie when I was little, and I never played the game, but I picked it up just because it was pretty cheap. And I also picked up um, the game Fifel Goes West. It was one of my all-time favorite movies as a little kid. And the other game I picked up was Mortal Kombat 3. And we, me and PZ were playing at his house. It was pretty funny. We were uh, button mashing, trying to remember all the combos. Um, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, back to the Hyperkin Studio. So basically what we did was we went there. And uh, they invited us out there. PZ contacted them to like get a review product, and they said like they were gonna send us one. And then they're like, "Oh, by the way, uh, we see that you're really close. Do you just want to come out to our uh, facility and like get a tour 
and uh, check out the facility for yourself. And we're like, yeah, that would be awesome. So um, I got off work, PZ got off work, and we headed out there. We went out there, and we were going to, we just like thought we were going to have a meeting, maybe like 30, 45 minutes tops, talk about like what we're going to do in review and whatnot. But it actually ended up being a three-hour meeting. We were we were there just talking about games, going off on random tangents, like asking them stuff about like the new console they're making, what new ideas they have, and um, like the, basically the developer side of things, like how they think as a developer versus how we think as gamers, and like some suggestions. They gave us some suggestions for like. Um, our channel and what we should do to like build a bigger fan base and like make websites and all that stuff where we gave them suggestions about like what we like as gamers and um, like what we want to see and all that stuff so it was, it was pretty cool pretty cool feedback it was like it was basically back and forth the conversation never really died down like three hours long and we just talked about like everything from retro games to pre-orders and like how we think pre-order pre-orders are cool and like how you get extra stuff and some pre-orders are really stupid and how they like suck the money out of you and talking about how um how um like the new xbox one and like the policies that they had in the beginning now they changed everything so we're talking about that kind of stuff and it was really cool um really cool experience we we actually played some some with the new consoles and like the older consoles showing us and we talked about like some opportunities we had with them and what we could do maybe some live streams or other stuff but it's not set in stone yet um so we're not going to really talk about that until it actually is going to be pursued or happen um so basically at the end of the day they gave us a console called superboy it's like a it's a portable super nintendo if you i don't know if you you guys ever seen it if you ever been to like urban outfitters or um you can also get them like at your local mom and pop shop called a superboy i'll put a link in the description so you can check it out it's basically a portable super nintendo or famicom plays famicom games as well um so it's pretty awesome I, i'm messing around with it today playing some um super mario all-stars and it's pretty big but it it, it doesn't seem too big because it has a screen and you can take it wherever you want with you basically and um so basically it has two ports in the front where it has um like where you can plug in an old SNES controller and then you can hook it up to your TV and have it an output so it's like portable portable Super Nintendo you can take it with you and play it in the car and then once you get to your destination you can plug it into the TV and play it with the controller so it's I think it's really awesome. It also comes with like a carrying case and like a rechargeable battery. It lasts like, I think PZ said like three and a half hours. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I think it may last more. We're planning on doing a review of it. Me and PZ got one. They gave us one to review. And then we uh, went out and bought another one because we <laughs> we both live in separate households and we know both of us want, both of us wanted it. So we just, um, went out and split the cost of a new one because we couldn't decide on who's going to get to keep it so we um went out and split a new one because we we like their company we want to support them and um yeah we like we want to see them grow and they'll help us grow and it's just cool opportunity i'm like just walking around you're probably getting super bored hopefully you're like in the, the conversation i'm trying to find a good place to uh start making my house and I need food quick. Could I like eat apricorn? Probably have to cook it first. Great. Uh, do I have any meat? I don't have any meat. Oh great. This is not good. Not good. It's all bad. There's only Pokemon around. There's no f like pigs or food or anything. Oh what is that? Nope. I'm going downhill right here. So basically, um, that is pretty much it for the meeting. Um, I know this was probably a boring episode to watch, but hopefully it was a cool episode to listen to since I basically told you what we basically did. We're also having a video coming out that's going to have a review that was going to go over more in detail of what we like talked about and what we did. Uh, probably more in depth. I just skimmed over it real quick because I don't want to give you all details because it's going to be another video of that. We're going to unbox the actual product that they gave us 
And crap, I'm gonna die and I have a bunch of items. No. Um how do I get my Oh no 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 Oh wait I don't think you can die you, I think you can only go down to half a heart I forgot about that I think I remember you being able to die and then they changed it I don't, I don't know I'm surprised there's no mobs up in here there's like no mobs that are coming after me like I can even eat rotten flesh or, uh, I'll even use rotten flesh I don't care what I think I'm going to do is build a house just right here and so I can make like a checkpoint. I need some wool though. Great. Need to find a sheep or that certain Pokemon that can give you wool that I forgot what it was. I need to look it up. So yeah, anyways, that is basically what happened yesterday. That's why we didn't put up any videos because we got home pretty late and um, I had work the next morning and... Pizzy had plans with his girlfriend, so we didn't really have time to make a video, and we apologize. We'll be uploading Sunday, even though we don't usually upload Sunday to make up for that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry for this boring episode to watch, but hopefully, like I said, you enjoy hearing about our experience. We're going to have another video out doing an unboxing of the product itself and a little... Um, discussion on what we what we uh did more in depth at the the place i thought it was a fun experience pretty fun experience to actually go to a a studio that deals with games since gaming is like our passion we like gaming and we, if we could we would want to turn it into a full-time job but um it's hard it's hard right now to do that kind of stuff um so yeah, to, to go to a studio and basically talk to other gamers and develop, like ask them about their developer side and giving their input on the gamer side, even though they're gamers, they want to know like the consumer consumer side of things. It, it was a pretty, pretty cool experience. So if anybody ever has a chance to do that sort of thing, um, should totally do it. Oh, this is a level four dude. I, I wish I can battle this dude, but my, my dude is dead. Ah. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is in the video right here, try to find some food off camera and basically build my house. Oh, there's mushrooms right here. I can make like mushroom stew or something. Hey, the mushroom disappeared. Yeah. So anyways, um, thanks for watching and be sure to look out for the, re the, the unboxing and the, the video about us talking about the stuff and, um, and the review that will be coming out like maybe a week or so after we get some more hands on with it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.